Howdy folks, you're watching Dudes and Guns, and today is part two in my Chiapa Little Badger video series. If you've not seen the first one yet where I shot the bejesus out of this thing, go ahead and click that link right there. But if you've already seen that, let's go ahead and continue. Now, I did some internet Googling, and from what I could tell, there's only one other company beside the Little Badger company themselves, Chiapa, that makes any kind of upgrade kits or parts for this firearm, and that is long shot manufacturing. You have the same long shot manufacturing that makes all the really cool high point upgrades. They also make a bunch of upgrades for the little badger from Chiapa. So I went and contacted them and they sent me a bunch of stuff, pretty much everything they make to upgrade your little badger. Let's take a look at it. While I was editing this video, Longshot sent me an email showing off their brand new DC mod attachment system. It's a railing system that they have that they've been working on for a couple of years now, where you can put a M-lock component, a key mod component, or even a Picatinny rail component on the exact same rail and everything works. So what kind of parts do they offer? Well, they have several different lengths and sizes of barrel shrouds. They have aluminum Picatinny rails that are direct replacements to the plastic ones. They have different types of thread protectors, which you're gonna need because the original one, you will lose that almost immediately. They have, let's see, hammer extensions, which is nice, and a much upgraded front sight. Oh yeah, and an actual grip, an actual grip. Remember I was talking about that in my last video, an actual grip to put onto this thing. All right, well, let me bring you in closer and we're gonna change out some of these parts. First of all, we'll take off these plastic Picatinny rails here and they come off very easily using a number 10 Torx head here. And now at this point you have a decision to make. Do you keep the rear sight or not? I'm not gonna keep the rear sight. Now since we're not using the rear sight, you can put on the extra long Picatinny rail. Now at this stage of the game, you can either choose to put on all three Picatinny rails to surround the barrel just like it was before, or, or you can put on the Delrin foregrip right there. That's your choices right now. I'm gonna show you both options so you can make an informed decision. I will probably, that looks pretty sharp, I will probably be going with the foregrip like that. And Longshot provided two different lengths of barrel shrouds here, a short one and a long one. I think I'm gonna be pretty partial to the long version here. So let's go ahead and slide that onto it. There we go. And that should bring it right up to the front side. And it does. Now let's do something about the stock here. There we go, all suppressed, ready to go, right there. Get the whole view. <laughs> that is pretty dang impressive. That is pretty dang impressive, and the whole thing still completely folds up. See, that is still a fairly compact package. Now, not as compact as before, but we've added a lot of things on here for both functionality, and it just looks so much better than it did before. I got 188 rounds in there, and I've got 12 on the stock because remember it does hold 12 on the stock here and we'll see if that stays on there see if those 12 stay on there throughout the duration there we go red dots on the delrin is staying nice and cool Everything else is extremely hot. <laughs> Farm glove to the rescue. Oh, last one. Number 200. Whew. Ha ha. Oh. Go find some shade. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, after extensive research, which I will almost guarantee you that I have more rounds through my little badger than almost any other YouTuber out there, and now I have settled on its final form like any 22 rifle, 
they love to be suppressed. And behind the suppressor, I have the factory front sight because I'm not using it. I'm using a red dot sight. So I wanted something low and out of the way so it did not interfere with my actual sight. Behind the front sight, we have Longshot's full-size barrel shroud, which don't be fooled by it. It is not going to protect your hand from heat. It heats up just almost as fast as the barrel did. So it's not going to really protect you from, from heat when you overheat the barrel. It is purely an aesthetics issue, but it does look and feel pretty good. And behind that, we have Longshot's Delrin forearm grip here, which takes the place of the two side and the bottom Picatinny rails. So instead of holding a cheese grater, you're holding something that's actually meant for human hands. And now the optics I settled on was, it's basically just a cheap red dot from Amazon. It's a field sport. There's a picture of it right there. And it has taken some, it taken some licks and keeps on, keeps on ticking here, but it really is meant just for a 22 application, a low recoil application. Having two pounds worth of scope sitting on top of a two and a half pound rifle, I think that pulled off the accuracy. So this little red dot, I was ringing a, I was ringing that steel at the 100 yard line with no issues whatsoever. So I highly recommend a red dot setup for the little badger or go back to irons. Moving back from that, we have the Delrin pistol grip from Longshot, which is perfect. It really lines you up there and makes you feel like you're truly shooting an actual rifle versus something more akin to a toy or dart gun. So it really does transform this to a traditional feel. And behind that, I did wrap the entire stock with paracord and it just gives it a more stout feel and a better cheek weld. Now, because the little badger for me is just a fun toy to take to the range, it is, this is its final form pretty much. Now, if I were to use this in the backpacking scenario or any kind of camping scenario where I needed it to be more compact, because if you do put all this stuff on here, it does not compact nearly as tightly as it does from the factory. So if I did need to compact it further, fold it up and really pack it away in a backpack or something, then I would of course strip down what I needed to, to get the job done. But as a range toy, this is perfect for just a fun day of plinking at the range, especially when you just want to bring something odd to the range. Or if you're, if you're having a bad day at the range, you can always pull this out. You know, it's going to work you know it's going to function. And remember, if you were interested in the products from Longshot Manufacturing for your little badger, your high point carbines, and I believe they also make stuff for AR-15s, the link will be in the comment section below the video. Well, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go subscribe. A lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show it is, leave that in the comment box below the video. And of course, like always, you guys have a great day. See ya. And because YouTube's algorithm hates any video below 10 minutes long, here's some additional footage of me shooting well, the little the badger and some extra pics oh. of Longshot Manufacturing's new DC mod rail system. Oh!